Yo, 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 what is up, Clint21? Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is enjoying the new map. I know a lot of you are probably not, to be honest, because of the guns. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of help you with that in this video, guys. I'm gonna try to tell you how to improve your aim assist, what you need to do now that they've added more bloom to the game, and what that means exactly. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, guys, real quick, two things before we jump right into the video. You know the drill by now. I do have a VPN affiliate if you want to get bot lobbies, if you want to bypass some of these proxies, if you live in a rural area and you don't have good internet, this is going to help lower your ping and it can help bypass some skill-based matchmaking. A lot of your streamers that you watch on Twitch, a lot of them use a VPN. They even joke about it. There's nothing wrong with it. I always use it. I always connect to the closest server just to get lower ping. And then if I want to play in different countries, I can still do that as well. So if you want to try this out, 30 days money back guarantee. The link to this will be in the description below. Highly, highly recommend NordVPN. It's best VPN on the market and the fastest VPN in the market. And of course, Patreon, we're updating this as we go along this week. There's a lot of new stuff we've got to add on there, new spreadsheets and stuff we are working on as we speak in the moment. The whole team is on it, guys. It's a lot with the new update. With the bloom added now, it's kind of scrapped a lot of the values that we had in Vanguard because they don't translate. So we're working on this as we speak. If you need help with your opponents, get that one-on-one -on -one access. If you want to run some games and stuff like that, join the Patreon if you just want to support me. We are going to be throwing up more videos and stuff like that. A lot of what I'm speaking in the video today is what I was actually messaging to everybody yesterday in my Patreon. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. Now we know with the new Warzone map, guys, they have added more bloom with a lot of these guns. And that's why you see a lot of these Twitch streamers and everybody complaining because of the lack of loadout. There's going to be more recoil and more bloom where your guns are not going to be as accurate when you're shooting. So I'm going to try to tell you what I'm doing to kind of overcome this when it comes to aim assist. Basically, for those who are unaware of what Bloom is, and now that they've added it into Warzone, I'm sure you're researching it and trying to figure out what it is. It is actually basically just a random spread of your bullet patterns. It's kind of like RNG to where your bullet sprays are going to go in random direction. Now, how does that affect the Cronus, of course? Now, of course, with the Cronus, we want to get that laser beam where it doesn't give you that random number generator. It doesn't give you that random spread. So what I'm going to actually combat this, change two settings within my aim assist set, you're not going to be able to do that with any of these Call of Duty game packs for the most part. We will be covering recoil videos on a lot of these guns for the Vanguard base pack and all this good stuff in the future. But unfortunately, and when it comes to the aim assist, all you can really do is increase the intensity. You can't really change anything else. So what I'm actually doing to combat this with the Pro AMV6, whether it be any of the Taylor Drift scripts or anything like that, is I am turning my minimum radius up when it comes to aim assist settings and i'm also going to turn my steps up a little bit to make it a little bit quicker when it searches for aim assist within that circle so when you're aiming at somebody with the cronus what's it usually doing is giving you a bigger circle a bigger radius for that aim assist and then of course your steps is going to give you the speed within that circle of how fast it searches for your target so what we want to do essentially with bloom is kind of eliminate the chance of that random bullet spray and the easiest way to do that is increase the speed which is your steps within the aim assist right so this is what i'm playing with so far guys so i'm actually just kind of increasing my minimum radius and i'm increasing my steps and this is what i've been playing around with that kind of works so far the best now of course you can also increase your radius altogether if you want to I don't really like that because, you know, at some point it's going to pull away from your target that you're designated on and pull to something else. So I kind of like to keep my regular radius overall pretty low, but increase the minimum radius a little bit. That way we get a little bit more of a radius before it locks onto your target. Now, of course, the steps, like I said, increase this as much as you can until it doesn't shake so much. And I'm just going to go through my Corona settings for the Pro AMV6. So let's go ahead and swap over to the Corona. So I'll show you what I'm working with so far with the Pro AMV6. Recoil, like I said, we'll be updating that stuff in the future. All right, so let's go ahead and swap over real quick. All right, boys, real quick, I'm just going to scroll through what I've changed a little bit on this Pro AMV6. And then, of course, we'll update the Cypher and the Scottish Tryhard and all those scripts up within the next week, right? Now, as you'll notice, I do have my Hex controller, my Cosmic Theme controller. Sheesh. Look at that bad boy. Sexy, sexy. Anyway, guys, shout out to all those who entered the giveaway. We're still working out with who the winner is. We announced it already if you missed the live stream. But they do live in Argentina, so as long as he's able to cover the shipping costs, he wins the controller. But if he doesn't, then we're going to go ahead and re-roll it. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. All right? So let's go ahead and get to these aim assist settings real quick. 
We still got Legacy AR. Taylor AR, I've been playing around with that a little bit. I'm gonna leave it off just for now until we get the aim assist right, and then we'll go ahead and get to the recoil videos and stuff like that in the future. So we're gonna go ahead and show you Pro Aim, I've actually turned it on in this instance. I've kind of turned the sample time down from the default down to 10. And then aim boost is at 10, corrections at seven. So I've kind of turned this down a little bit, but to get that little extra aim assist, I did turn Pro Aim on. And then of course, Pro Aim V2 was off. Crescent aim is on, and you'll notice it's the same sense, of course, as what I had in my previous video for all my Pro Aim V4, V5, V6, all those videos. This is actually the same. Now I do have sticky aim, but I did turn the size up a little bit to 18 just to kind of eliminate some of that bloom. And then of course the time is up a little bit as well to 13. So that way you actually get a little bit stickier aim assist. This is what we need to kind of eliminate that bloom. And then one other thing, of course, I did turn the sense boost on, but I didn't want it at hundred quite yet. So I did turn it down to 29 from 99. I turned it down to 29. Um, but that's pretty much it guys. This is what I'm using so far for the Pro V6. Of course, I'll be updating these other scripts as we go along. I'm gonna leave you with some gameplay from the old map. I'll show you more gameplay when we get into the recall videos, which should have one coming up tomorrow or Sunday. But this video has already ran long enough. I don't wanna make this video too long. So we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Leave a comment below what's working for you, what you like best about the new Warzone map. If you have any questions, join the Patreon. If you need a VPN, get a VPN through NordVPN. I have all the links to that in the description below. I appreciate all the love and support. You guys are amazing. I will see you on the next video. Peace and love. We're out. Okay.